Ball well, and the individual drill that showed up. Um, they have a hard time tackling them in the tackling drill. <laughs> he can uh, run between the tackles, run outside. You know, he's what we thought he was when we drafted him, and uh, you know, he's just going to add more of all that to our backfield. So um, it was a decent first day. I know he made some mistakes, um, and he's got a long way to go, and he knows that. But he's working uh, the way he needs to work to catch up. Physically, he looked like he wanted him to go. Yeah. Uh, he's every bit of a 217 pounds, uh, you know, that we wanted him to play at. And showed good quickness. Um, again, he, mentally, he made the mistakes that I thought he would make too today. So, um, you know, he knows where he stands. He knows some, he's a smart kid. He knows how far behind the other guys he is and what he doesn't know. And uh, at this point, that's, that's as important as what he does know because now he knows, you know, what he has to work harder at. Josh, what are you getting out of going to the state? Is that um, just again, it's our second run through. I mean, everybody's here new. I, I mean, the coaches, the players, the sideline substitutions. We're going to walk through stretching, um, you know, uh, our sideline operation, where we want to sit when we're not out there on defense, where we want to sit when we're not out there on offense. Just communication uh, between upstairs and on the field, the helmet, the coach, and quarterback. Just, you know, one more time through that before we actually do it on Friday night for real. Do you anticipate no Sean playing on Friday night? In San Francisco? Yeah, absolutely. Josh, the outside linebackers have anybody started to separate themselves yet? Are still just trying to get different guys? No, I mean we, you know, we're they're they're still competing. Uh, there's a couple of them that were in the doghouse today just because of some of the things they did on the field today, and um, you know, I'm, that's 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 good for the other guys, and it's not it's uh, it's not certainly not a done deal in terms of the competition at that spot on either side of the ball. So. Um, you know, Mario was out there with the first group some today, and uh, deservedly so. And uh, we'll see if, you know, we'll see how he does with that role. Uh, but Daryl got better today, and uh, Tim Crowder did some good things. Elvis and Robert, you know, and Jarvis competing on the other side. So it's really a wide open competition. None of that stuff's going to start separating itself until we go a few preseason games into it. So Mario was in there with the first because mm -hmm. of guys in the doghouse? No, 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 no. Yeah, no, there was a couple guys I was, I'm just saying I was. Oh, okay, okay. I don't want to say what I was saying. To him, but, you know, they were. No, Mario was out there because he earned the right to, to to have that opportunity today. Uh, certainly not anything set in stone there either. But uh, then there was, a, like I said, there was a couple a uh, couple guys that uh, loafed a little bit too much for my liking today. Josh, it's been a week and since you week since you bet Brandon Marshall on the field. Is that at all a point of concern? No. Nope. Uh, be seven no days and he's no, even it's not seven. a concern. When he's ready to go, he'll be out here. Can you say there's been a lot of reports about Brian Dawkins in his hand? Can you just at least confirm if he nope. has a broken hand or when, when he might he's be ready, back? He'll be back? When he's ready to practice, he'll be out here. Josh. When you say excuse from yeah, he Brian didn't go. Josh, with this being Hall of Fame, what's your favorite memory? The enshrine, the enshrine, well. The enshrinement, the enshrinement ceremonies um, was something I always look forward to uh, because I think it's a it's a it's a really emotional. Uh, it used to be in the morning, now it's in the you know middle of the day of the evening, and uh, it's an emotional time for the people that are getting enshrined. I think there's a lot of uh, people there that share those same emotions, family and friends, and um, I think it's just a special night for football in general. And, you see how much uh, that induction and to be placed into the hall means to those people, and, and it gives you know these young kids that are still playing today, um, you know, a little bit of a different perspective on the fact that this means a lot. You know, this don't take it for granted, and uh, and, the, and the guys that get enshrined every year usually do a phenomenal job.